chocolate was my favorite dessert. And so I used to eat it a lot as a kid. <laughs> and so when I grew up, um, I got interested in learning how to make chocolate. Chocolate to me means unlimited possibilities. Um, it's very versatile and the things that you can do with chocolate is unlimited. I always like to tell all my chocolatiers that uh, when working with chocolate, every step is the most important step. Um, because if you make one mistake, um, then you have to do everything all over again. It's not like uh, savory cooking where you can kind of fix it. Um, it's like you make one mistake and you have to do it all over again. My name is Susanna Yoon and I'm the founder and chocolatier of Stick With Me Sweets. I was born and raised in Seattle, Washington. My parents, they immigrated to uh, Seattle, Washington when they were in their early 20s um, and then had uh, me and two brothers. It's beautiful, lots of trees, uh, lots of green uh, forest trees, <laughs> yeah. a lot of evergreens. The name Stick With Me came about is originally before doing chocolates. I have a love for caramels and caramels, um, the texture can sometimes be a little sticky and so um, for fun we came up with, oh, Stick With Me um, and uh, we just decided to go with that name. I think this is kind of like a story that a lot of chefs have. Um, they have memories. Uh, I have childhood memories of cooking alongside my grandma. And uh, when she passed away, I wanted to do something that, um, I guess, that reminded me of her. And although it's not cooking Korean food, it's cooking and she loves the art of gifting. And I also, um, love the art of gifting, so wanted to make special chocolates that uh, other people could gift as well. So right now we're decorating the New York, New York bonbon. Um, it's got like six different colors to show the diversity and colors of New York. If you look at the bonbon from far away, it kind of looks like a Times Square. So the chocolates we make here is actually like a labor of love. There's a lot of uh, brush stroke and design that goes into each bonbon. So we're actually gonna be doing this for like the next few hours. <laughs> so. <laughs> This is most of our morning uh, decorating bonbons. And then during the day, we start making the, in, uh, the fillings, the ganache, the pralines. And today, since it's a Friday and tomorrow's a weekend, we're just gonna seal everything and get everything released and ready for the weekend. My favorite chocolate is Verona, and it's made in France. Um, for chocolatiers, we really like to use uh, Verona chocolate because of its fluidity. Um, it's not viscous, it's really nice to work with, uh, and creates beautiful bonbons. 
these pellets. This one is one of my favorite milk chocolates. It's a 40% um, Javara milk chocolate. It's really silky, it's malty, and one of the best milk chocolates you can find out there. It's important to work fast, but also work clean. I'm gonna vibrate and knock out any air bubbles. You want to make sure that it's perfectly level, so the thickness of the shell should be the same thickness on the bottom. So when you pipe, you have to have perfect precision and perfect height. You can't pipe it above and you can't pipe it too low either. So it has to be a perfect uniform um, chocolate shell. For the designs, we get inspired by the ingredients themselves. So if it's a strawberry, we like to use the colors red. And if it's yuzu, we use bright orange and yellows. And sometimes even a guest will come in and be, be like, you know, my favorite flavor is, uh, my favorite dessert is a lemon, lemon meringue pie. Can you make this for me? And that's how calamansi meringue pie was born. When I made uh, the black sesame, it's, um, it kind of actually reminded me of my grandma because she used, we used to roast um, sesame together and I really wanted to bring out that really fragrant nuttiness of the sesame and translate that and put it inside of a bonbon. And so we, we like to challenge ourselves and um, some, some of our bonbons will have like multi layers, like different layers just to include all these different flavors. Um, and I think that's um, something that's really exciting for our guests. I originally came to New York for culinary school. Um, and after culinary school, I stayed for work. Um, I worked at uh, different fine dining restaurants in New York City. And uh, my last um, job in New York was working at Thomas Keller's Three Michelin Star Restaurant Per Se. I think the hardest part about working in the restaurant is when everyone else is going out for lunch and dinner um, and enjoying time with friends, we're actually in the kitchen cooking the meals. Um, so I think it was missing out on a lot of family events, uh, not being able to see your friends um, unless it's like 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> um, you, I think it's the, the time, you're, you're working so many hours, like 14, sometimes 15 hours a day, um, not being able to spend time with friends and family was the most difficult part. Uh, so after working at Per Se, I, I wanted a new challenge. When I was working at Per Se Restaurant, you do lots of fancy plated desserts, but you can't really take these desserts and gift it to somebody. So I wanted to basically compact um, desserts into chocolates so that people can take it home with them and it's something that you can gift um, to your friends and loved ones. So it took about um, a year to find the location. Um, I was basically walking around everywhere in New York. Um, I had a lot, I had a nice tan at that time because I was walking around so much. Um, I, I was just studying the different neighborhoods. Um, and finally, after a year, I, I found the location that I wanted to be in, in Nolita. Um, I just love the area there. It's close to Soho. Um, there's a lot of small businesses and the neighborhood is really great. I think, um, I think because Stick With Me is, um, is a really, it's a fun place with uh, delicious chocolates. 
I think we're also known for our fun uh, packaging designs and just the colorful, all the different colorful chocolates that we have at the shop. try the s'mores one. I got the New York, New York and it was really good. Thanks. So good. <laughs> Uh, we have about 24 different flavors, but we also do like two to four different rotating flavors that we like to add in. So sometimes we have like 26 different flavors of chocolates. This is not a stencil. This is hand painted chocolate. Um, the brand of chocolate they use is called Valrona, and the name of this piece is Vero. What this is, salty, sweet, crunchy, creamy. So you have the inside is a milk chocolate ganache with a dark chocolate shell, salted pecans. Hats up for everybody. And again, it's called the Vero. I do want you to take a bite of it because I want you to see the construction of how it's made. Thank you. Oh, wow. That's a good bite. I think the most enjoyable experience for me is when a guest comes in and they try a chocolate that they've never had before and um, and to watch them smile and be so excited and um, I think though that like watching the guests interact with um, our staff and the chocolates um, and seeing that it brings them joy it makes me really happy. of my job, I think, um, is the people that I work with um, is one of the best parts of my job is I, I love um, everyone on my team. But I really love working here and it is a family mm -hmm. and I've learned so much from everyone and she's a natural leader and like, I don't know, she's super resilient and brilliant. My friend. But I don't know why. I am working at Stick With Me from the very beginning when Chef started. It's been eight years, ever since we opened back in 2014. I, I felt like I learned so much from working together with Chef and also with everybody on the team. My team is is amazing. <laughs> no, honestly, every so everyone that works on our stick with me uh, team, we we all make the decision together. So when someone interviews, we all have to agree to hire the next person. So I think that's why um, we're so close. And I see them as my my family and my favorite people in the world. Um, they're people that I can count on. And I'm just so blessed and fortunate to be able to work with such a talented team. I lived in New York for about 12 years. Uh, this is Little Italy and we're on the famous street of Mulberry. So there's a lot of different types of Italian restaurants here. And in the evening time it gets really packed with lots of people gathering. Um, and eating Italian food. So this area I really like because it's close to my workplace. My first impression, I think it was overwhelming. Um, just so many buildings, so many people, um, especially coming from a small town in Seattle. It was, 
I don't know, it was just, it was really fascinating for me to see um, such a big and dynamic city. I do have a few hobbies, um, finding um, good restaurants in New York. Um, another hobby um, is I love to cook and bake at home. Um, so even though I'm making chocolates at, at Stick With Me, I love making bread and um, different types of um, pastries at home. So in the beginning um, with COVID, when uh, all the businesses had to close down, it was really devastating for us. Um, um, none of the workers could come in and everyone had to social, uh, be socially distanced. Um, so, but I still wanted to keep the business going. And so uh, me and uh, one other um, stick with me uh, worker, we, we still kept the shop alive by doing e-commerce. Um, and so the storefront was completely closed, um, but we started to actually see lots of numbers coming in for uh, e-commerce. And um, it was actually, it ended up being a really busy time, um, especially because we didn't have the rest of our team with us and I was the only one making chocolates during the pandemic. I think it was a really hard time for everybody. Um, all my friends are also in the industry, they run restaurants. And I think uh, watching everyone struggle during that time was really difficult. Um, and even in our neighborhood, I saw so many restaurants just close down. And um, pretty soon, like there, there was just like streets of just empty, um, empty retail spaces. And I think that was very hard to see. This is for our chocolate factory. Yes, so we'll be doing um, distribution here. So shipping and distribution for e-commerce and all the production now in this facility. It's got a beautiful view. You can see all of uh, Manhattan and it just felt right. We'll have um, a couple of different types of chocolate machinery here. This side would be more of the distribution, storage, conference room, offices. Uh, we are not looking to do more branches in New York. Um, we want to be able to ship more across the nations, and so um, shipping will be our focus. Um, but we do plan to open a branch in Seoul, Korea. Uh, hopefully that will happen uh, next year. Right now I'm just going to focus on um, building this uh, factory and having a more um, nicer environment for my, my team and my um, co-workers. So many memorable moments that stick with me. Um, we receive a lot of cards and drawings of our chocolates and thank you letters. A lot of our guests, they'll give to somebody else and then bring a lot of happiness to them and so they'll always um, thank us afterwards. And so we receive a lot of emails, a lot of handwritten uh, messages and uh, whenever we receive those, we really, we really feel warm inside. <laughs>